Are you awake? Was it a nightmare? You even cried out. Look there, the red sun will soon set, and we must be on our way. It's been a difficult journey. Only you have ever made it this far. Now let's press onward. We're almost there. giant shall be awakened here, and then we shall reach our final destination. Air of Ages. Your journey ends here. Just as planned. Again, I trust you'll take care of it. Thou pay for thine sins. Careful now. It's not over yet. Paint the sun crimson with their blood. hurt, are you? I admire your resilience. Final destination. Quickly now, after it.
the tour taken me to history. Why is nothing happening? Is this another of that fossil Cartian's tricks? Here in Histria lies our final destination. We'll have to part ways soon. Too soon, wouldn't you say? I seek the ancient ruins beyond that door. The slumbering ancient weapons will likely rise to its defense. Kill them all. This is my final request. I pray that you return to me unscathed. For my sake as well. Finally, I've made it back, and with the key to break the seal.
Indeed, you were the king all along. Travelers of distant times, take this body as your vessel. With this power, I can continue pursuing my charge. Shocked I betrayed the trust you gave so easily. Sorry, but you should have known better. see you're awake. Nice to meet you. My name is Eden. I'm a ruins excavator. Huh? You've forgotten who you are and where you came from. By all outward appearances, you look well enough. Did you hurt your head? We found you with that atoll's heart we excavated yesterday. At first, we mistook you for a mummy. What in the world happened? Worker, come hither. Haven't you heard time is black stones? Lord Jordine isn't half as patient as I. 
<laughs> the eminent Lord Jordine must be as quick as a choppy on a full moon. Now, I would love to hear your story, but it seems like it will have to wait. I was hired to excavate the ruins down below, since the pr- <laughs> scared the daylights out of me. Are you new here? Who said you could rub your mitts on this without the princess's permission? Huh? What is this nonsense? When did you start working here? How do you not know this already? When the moon comes up, shall we have a nice little chat by the loo? Who's your supervisor? It's Wilson, isn't it? I swear he's left his brain on a deserted island somewhere. How does he expect you rookies to- I am a generous person. I, Collins, shall teach you all you need to know. This ancient weapon is called an Ator. It's absolutely dangerous. So do not touch it! You stand in the way of Princess Jorette of Serendia. If we were not out in the field, you would have been severely punished. How dare you stand in the way of Princess jo Oh, this stench! How dare you stand so close! You... What? The way down to the ruins? What? Now even these peons. Mills! Do you know how hard I work to make this excavation happen? Need I have you all discharged to be taken seriously? I shall gladly take whatever punishment you feel is adequate once we return. But, Princess, I beseech you to withhold your anger for just a moment. How dare you stand in the way of Princess Jorette of Serendia? If we were not out in the field, you would have been... What would compel you to ask such an obvious thing? Did Eden originally hire you on as a mercenary? chamber excavation site is directly under the command of Princess Jurette. We told Eden how important this site is, yet he dares to bring in someone so wet behind the ears. He's making it quite hard to trust him as a leader. We'll be lucky if we find anything at all before the deadline. Eden was handpicked by our eminent Lord Jordan. Do you doubt the Grand Chamberlain of Serendia's shrewdness? I... Sincerely apologize, Princess. That was not what I meant when I said those words. I shall punish you for your suspicions in time. For now, just concern yourself with how to restore his honor. I shall punish you for your suspicions in time. For now, just concern... I shall punish you for your suspicions in time. For now, just concern yourself with how to restore his... Yes, I shall give this new recruit a fitting task. Fortune truly favors you. Ruin's excavation starts with picking up a pickaxe. Break the stones around that ruin and fill the cart. It's a simple task. So go to the soldier below once you are done. But, I will say this once, overconfidence is a fool's folly. Ruin's excavation starts with picking up a pickaxe.
Aiden's strong new recruit finally arrived, I see. Now tell us, how did you get locked in the sights of that spoiled princess? Oh, never mind. You didn't hear me say a thing. Anyways, seems like you... Oh, uh, never mind. Do you see those hungry wolves stalking about in the grass? The horses won't budge thanks to that scary lot. Sir Roig may appear like he's not watching, but he sees all. So this is the time to show your stuff, my friend. Aren't you an excavator? I thought you'd get eaten alive. But it seems you've some use. I'll grant you access to the ancient stone chamber. Go and help Eden finish up with the excavation. drooling over those relics. Does a visit to places such as this make your heart skip a beat as well? Oh, 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 oh. so you're the living relic Eden discovered. <laughs> a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Luffy Bed Mountain, at your service. I'm not sure why no one has ever stumbled upon this stone chamber up until now, but... Uh, I guess you're some sort of lucky charm, aren't you? It just so happens that the day you awoke was the day we finally cracked the secret of these five stone murals. These murals of prophecy have been speculated to have been painted by the ancients. They depict the rise and fall of the Kron Kingdom that was central to Balanos. Take a closer look. Who knows? You might be standing in front of your own creations, and you've just forgotten about it. <laughs> A depiction of Noir III of House Bartali, the last king of the Kron Kingdom of Balanos. The enormous crown symbolizes his unchallenged authority. The only thing he feared was death itself. One day, an alchemist from across the desert sought audience with the Wartha Third. My master shall grant you eternal life. <laughs> if I heard that, my eyes would be big as dinner plates. Eternal life. 
quite the thing to crave, especially in a world where many struggle to eke out a full living, even once. Alas, the prospect of immortality blinded Martha III, and he took the alchemist's offer. The blood and organs of 100 children and maidens, all offered up as sacrifice to the alchemist. The king's madness swept throughout Balanos as the people's resentment reached the heavens, but the III made no effort to stop the ritual to summon the alchemist's master. By the time the king learned the truth, that the alchemist served the evil god Hadoom, his concerns had narrowed to the point where he cared not of such things. Fortunately, Elion, Arl, and their believers did not remain idle, and the ritual to bring about Hadoom into this world was halted. Though in doing so, the castle was toppled and shattered to pieces. The mighty kingdom of Kron joined the many other kingdoms lost to history. This was barely over 150 years ago. But do you know what's even more amazing? I, at Nafi Bed Mountain, used the latest advancements in archaeological dating to determine exactly when these murals were constructed. It's happened. These stone murals were made not 150 years ago, but much, much further back. This was barely over 150 years ago. I, at Nafi Bed Mountain, used the latest path. These stone murals were made not 150 years ago, but much, much further. was barely over 100 and I have not even happened. These stone mills... How ever did the ancients peer so far into the future? Ah, right. I've saved the most interesting mural. This one. Depicts a prophecy that's yet come to pass. It's the Breaker of Chains who freed the vengeful souls sacrificed to summon Hadoom to our realm. Yikes, look at the time. Take this information regarding the final mural and bring it to Martha Keith down there, will you? You can't miss her. She's unreasonably tall and wears glasses so big you would mistake her for a frog. Just to listen to her speak and you'll catch wind of her temper. Yeesh, I can flesh just thinking about it. as a living relic he found toppled over. My goodness. My name is Martha Keen, an archaeologist by trade. And I guess this too is fate. Should we shake hands or something? Martha! Martha! I found it! Come quickly! Well, no time for handshakes. My, is it just me? Or are we seeing some steady developments after your awakening? If everyone worked towards a single goal in harmony, heaven on earth could be achieved. I've seen these writings in an ancient text in Valencia somewhere. An ancient weapon that attacked the ancients. Who could have made such a thing? Is your heart... Every time I make a discovery like this, it's like stealing a swig of light ale stashed away in a Calfionian noble's warehouse. Every time I make a discovery like this...
I could hear Larfie and Martha from all the way over here. I was wondering who their special guest would be. You and I have already been introduced. Though, I believe you've yet to meet my comrade, the beautiful Gilem, or Orwin. Eden, come now, quit it! Okay, okay. Greetings. Ah, but do be careful. The remains of many petrified ancients are strewn about. It appears... Not to mention the upside-down trees that are rooted around the relic as well. During my brief stay in the forest in the southern territories... Dabbling in forbidden texts from such a young age. <laughs> I can't imagine. Especially considering how prim and proper you are right now. Dabbling in forbidden texts from such a young age... Forbidden text. Wait, stand back right now. Oh my goodness, what? Are you... Wait, stand back right now. Oh my goodness, what are you doing all of a sudden? Are you awake? These are the memories of the Forgotten World. Sorry, but you should have known better. Are you okay? You... you remember this, but... Why would you do such a thing in front of an ancient relic you've never seen before? Wait, who could it be? You wouldn't have some red-eyed being whispering incessantly in your head now, would you? Ah, it must be a black spirit. Those entities that bring ruin to all who succumb to their whispers. I was joking when I called you a living relic. But now, it appears that name was right on the mark. Eden, please, isn't that a bit too much? And yet, the relic has begun to move. At this rate, the dark... The relic probably awakened after reacting to your black spirit. Be careful. The spirits will definitely...
you know of any way we might get on her good side? Anything that might put her in a more magnanimous mood? Do you know of any way we might get on her... I knew it, I knew it! I knew you were trouble the moment I laid eyes on you! Forget what I said. Do you know how many hours of labor were wasted because of you? Are you going to explain this delay to that Janet or the Geralt or whatever? <laughs> oh, calm down, Laffy. If it you think that alone will ease her temper? Why are you so oblivious to the ways you think that alone? <laughs> Why don't we speak more on the matter after it turns? Why don't we speak more on the matter? The Lesra, the White Witch? To think that she was part of your Why don't we speak more on the matter after returning? I bet she'll give us an earful after she hears of our findings, but that's for us to deal with. What about our friend here? Princess Jarrett won't let just anyone waltz right into the Western Guard camp. Do you know of any way we might get on her good side? Anything that might put her in a more magnanimous mood? Ugh, the only time I've seen the Princess's foul temper abate the day she met with Grand Chamberlain. Truth is, we've been waiting for a wagon with supplies from Western Guard Camp, but it's yet to pass by. I had a bad feeling something in the woods may have caused the wagon's delay. If it's not too much trouble, could you go investigate? It's a bit inconvenient, but I suppose that's the way of the world. We'll wrap things up here and follow right after you.
I thought you'd walk right past me. What? My wagon's over there. Broken into pieces. Uh, I just realized my life has been spared, but only to be at the mercy of Princess Durette once she gets word of this. Uh, I just realized...
The moment I saw you slay those wolves, I knew you weren't ordinary. A weapon is more suited to your hand than a pickaxe. Well, one good turn deserves another. I've secured a job for you. Do as you're ordered, and you'll find your life becoming a bit... My name is Fania, and I am an officer of the Western Guard Camp. I'd rather not meet under such circumstances, but it appears we have no choice. I heard from Sir Roy that you are an excavator, but with a special set of skills. It appears their skills were wasted digging for relics. You have been looking to hire mercenaries, have you not? Let's consider this a formal interview. See? Knowing how to seize the right opportunity is a skill in itself. Now, ensure my recommendation continues to carry weight.
Western Guard camp overseeing Eastern Balanos. I heard a ruckus and thought it was the goblins again. Ah, Officer Fania, you're wounded. Medic, get over here now! Every ah, Officer Fania, you're wounded. I'm fine. Please tend to other soldiers who are more seriously wounded. Duvain, where is he? Seems he's not around. This is the one who saved us from the imps. Though the wagon was destroyed, we thankfully did not share that fate. And yet goblins again. Is that why the imps have grown so aggressive? Gideon, king of the goblins, grows craftier by the day. Take a look beneath the bridge if you want to see what I mean. That's the work of the goblin king, Geath. Duvain is tracking him down, but capturing him is a difficult feat. 